Hello, welcome to our Word of the Week series. We are here in Eastertide, one of the most important times in our church calendar. We've gone gold, everything's turned gold for Eastertide. And let's have a think today about what that means to us. Now, one of the most important things during Eastertide is to stop and focus on our faith. And that's what we're going to do with today's Word of the Week, Faith. But before we do that, let's think about the person who is at the forefront of this faith. Let's remember Jesus, the reason we're here, and welcome his presence into our worship as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, as we gather here today, we come with open hearts and curious minds. Help us to feel your presence among us as we explore the theme of faith. Guide us in our reflections and grant us the courage to live out our faith in our daily lives. Amen. So today our reading's coming from John's Gospel. Now, we've said this before, but it's worth repeating. John's Gospel is really important. It speaks about universal themes. It, it, it speaks about things like our identity, our purpose, love and faith. And of course, these things are relevant to all of us, regardless of religion or age, that they transcend all boundaries. Now, additionally, John's gospel presents Jesus as a relatable figure, as somebody that we can all follow, as you could 2,000 years ago, as you still can 2,000 years later. Somebody who offers guidance, somebody who offers hope, and somebody who is a model for living a meaningful life, a life full of love, a life full of purpose, and a life full of faith. So this is a reading from the Gospel according to John. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. that mean for us today? In the Bible reading that we just heard, Jesus is talking to one of his disciples, Thomas. You might have heard of him as Doubting Thomas. And Thomas was doubting that Jesus had really risen from the dead. He didn't have the faith unless he saw it with his own eyes. And Jesus tells him, I'm here, that's great, now you believe me. But actually, the people that are even more blessed are those who believe without seeing. And that's where faith comes in. Faith is believing in something even when you can't see it or you can't prove it. It's having trust in something that's bigger than us, even if something's tough or even if something's confusing. And during Easter, we're remembering that Jesus conquered death. And that's a really difficult thing to have faith in, to have trust in. But when you do, it really deepens our strength and our hope and our love. So faith is believing in something when you can't see it or even when you can't prove it. It's not just about the big miracles though, it's not just about believing in Jesus overcoming death through his own death on the cross. It's also about trusting in the little things. It's like the kindness of each other, trusting in that you can be here in this school and knowing that everyone's going to be kind to you. Can people have that trust? Can people have that faith in you? It's about finding hope in difficult situations. Are you somebody that people can always put their faith in? You know, imagine you're facing a challenge like a difficult test or a problem with a friend. Sometimes in those moments, it's really hard to see your way through, but faith is trusting that you've got the people around you to help it get better or knowing that it will get better is about having hope that there's a solution 
even if you can't see it straight away. And during Eastertide, as we've said, Jesus' resurrection becomes that ultimate light, that ultimate hope, and that ultimate moment where we know that we can have faith. It reminds us that there's always a reason to keep believing, to keep pushing forward, even when things are difficult. Let us pray together. For all those who are struggling with their faith, that they may find comfort and strength in your presence. For peace in our world, that we may work together to build a better future for all. For those who are sick or suffering, that they may feel your healing touch and know that they are not alone. For our families and friends, that we may support and encourage one another on our journey of faith. And for the courage to live out our faith in our daily lives, showing love and compassion to all we meet, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So, as we leave our act of worship today, let's just try and remember, faith is not just something that we talk about, it's not just something that we read about, it's something that we actually live out. Challenge yourself to put faith into action today, challenge yourself to show love, to show kindness, For stand, stand up for what's right, spread hope wherever you go. If you do that, people will have faith in you. Also this week, think about who or what you have faith in. Think about why you have faith in them and think about how you can transfer some of those things into your life as well. Together, with faith, we can make our world a little bit brighter through our actions. And just as we welcomed Jesus into our act of worship, we'll end by remembering his presence in our lives as well, by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's put some faith into action, everyone, and have a brilliant week. Bye.